Yo, what is up guys, Surgical Goblin here, and as you guys can see here, we reached over 10,000 subscribers, and that's absolutely insane, I want to thank you all so much for that, and I will show my new setup, and then record a video, so enjoy. I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe That's just how it goes cause I like to Yo, what is up guys? You just saw my setup video and I do want to bring you guys some other content as well So it won't be uh, that short of a video as you guys can see here I'm at 5,000 cups and I will be sharing the deck. I already shared this deck actually my previous video Which brought me to my personal best and that was at that time 4,700 cups, but now it is 5,000 cups as you guys can see here and Local is the Netherlands. I'm actually number four and I'm really happy with that so I will go over three replays. You guys just saw my setup video. I hope you guys liked that one. I'm really happy with my setup and just built my DX Racer and I'm really happy with it. It is sitting really comfortable. So in my first replay I play against the level 12 and I will start with my princess up high to chip away and basically bait out the lock. So I really like to bait out the lock with my princess. And I also have my game style now on so if you guys like that please let me know. So he kills my princess with his mega minion, I will drop fire spirits and I will drop my inferno on his royal giant. So at this point we're equal on elixir, now he's, he's actually up a little bit but that doesn't really matter. So at this point I will just wait to see what he drops and then decide what I will drop. So I will actually go with hawk rider when I hit 10 and here he drops his arches. So I tried to fireball that and the tower but I missed the tower. So I was actually really nervous because I was struggling all day to get 5,000 uh, cups and I had a lot of spectators as well. So I will drop again a princess up high to bait out the lock and chip away. So we're up on damage and as you guys can see some someone is throwing confetti for us. As I just mentioned we were trying basically all day long so I'm really happy we made it. So here he comes with Royal Giant and Skarmy. I will lock that. And luckily I will also hit his fire spirit, so that was a really good lock. And at this point, I know he just locked my princess, so I'm free to go with my hawk rider and fire spirits. So I pick a bush and he responds with a, a furnace and a lock. So his furnace almost dies and we didn't make it to the tower, but that's okay. So at this point I will drop my princess in the middle I think or my ice spirit to defend because I don't want to take damage. Yeah I drop my ice spirit and then drop my princess. So he will come with a mega minion and I will drop my own mega minion to defend his. So at this point we are going into overtime, uh, into, into double elixir sorry. And here I will go with a hawk rider and with a uh, predictive lock which actually paid off. I hit a skarmy and my hawk rider could get one hit. And at this point we're up on damage and he comes with a royal giant. He hasn't shown his lightning yet and here he will. So his royal giant makes it to the tower. I dropped my ice spirit but his arch is one shot dead. Again I got lucky with my lock. I locked his RG and also hit fire spirits. So here he will come with a furnace to defend my hawk rider. 
and I will fireball those archers. So at this point, he's up on um, on damage, and he actually can push with his gi uh, royal giant and then come with lightning. So I will drop my princess, but at the same at the same time, he drops his royal giant. So my princess, and here it's really interesting. Here I will drop my inferno. So the if he lightnings, he will only uh, lightning my tower or the inferno. So that's really key. So as you guys can see, he decides to lightning only my tower. And then I will go, he just locked my uh, princess. So then I will go with Hawk Rider and uh, my spirits. And a lock, a pred predictive lock, but that didn't really pay off. And here I drop my princess, but the furnace was still alive. So I will drop my Hawk Rider because at this point, I know he has his lightning and his lock. And my tower is only at 567 HP. So I know I have to uh, hurry, so I will drop my Hawk Rider and Fire Spirit. And he responds with a Skarmie, but as you guys can see, I don't have a lock. So he counters that pretty well, but my Hawk Rider still gets one hit. And he actually locks, which is a mistake there. So he can Lightning now, which he doesn't because he is defending. And I'm just basically cycling back to another uh, Hawk Rider. But my Princess hit his tower, so actually hit his tower two times. So that actually uh, made it that low, so I can uh, put it in Fireball range. So. I fireballed his tower down, so I was really happy with that. And this is actually a really interesting replay because in this replay I'm facing an almost maxed out guy, except for his ice golem being level 10 and his lock being level 4. So let's see. This is a really interesting replay. I was really happy that I won this one. So as you guys can see, he's a level 13 and I'm a level a brand new level 11. So with this starting hand, I will drop my Mega Man in the back to see what he drops. And he's leaking a bit of elixir and then drops his tombstone. But he drops it this far. So if you guys see here, he drops it at that, at that, uh, that is his placement. So at this point, I know if I put my Hawk Rider here on the right, my Hawk Rider will go for his tower and not for his tombstone. So let's see. I, I actually decide to go with Hawk Rider, Fire Spirit and Ice Spirit. But he didn't have Logan Cycle. So that paid off. And here I will drop my princess to defend his mega minion, but I don't have enough elixir for an inferno. So I will drop fire spirits to kill his mega minion and then kill his hawk rider, but he did an insane amount of the damage. So basically we're already down. And as you guys can see, I'm a bit testing out with my new setup and I have to get used to it. So please don't judge me on that and I hope we can make some cool content on this. So he drops his tombstone, I will fireball that and hit the tower as well. So at this point I know he don't really has a, a structure to counter my Hawk Rider. So he will drop an Ice Golem, I will drop Inferno in the middle. And he's up on Elixir but we have a full life Inferno. So he drops his Arches, I will drop Princess to hit the Arches and chip away at the tower and then lock to kill them. So I force him to drop his Mega Minion and my Inferno can roast it. So I still know he doesn't have tombstone in the cycle. So I will go with Hawk Rider Fire Spirits. And he decides to log it. Then drop an Ice Spirit and a tombstone. But he was too late. So my Hawk Rider will still get two shots. So at this point we're pretty equal on damage. He is up 200. But that doesn't really matter. I can fireball his tombstone if I want. And then we're up. Uh, equal I mean sorry. So he comes with a Ice Golem and then with an aggressive Hawk Rider. So I will put my Inferno and a Mega Minion to defend. So at this point, I know he just he just spent a lot of uh, Elixir on the push because he also fireballs. So here I will drop my Hawk Rider and then lock. And I will fireball his Arches there. So my Hawk Rider, actually he drops again a Tombstone but my Hawk Rider is again not going for it. So my Hawk Rider will get two shots. And here's really important, as you guys can see, I will drop my Inferno to counter his Hawk. But I also drop an Ice Spirit here. So his Ice Spirit will jump on that. And if nothing else hits my Ice Spirit, my Ice Spirit will still uh, freeze on defense. So as you guys can see here, a Skeleton took it out. But otherwise, uh, my ice, ice Spirit would still get value on defense. So he actually, uh, his, his troops were still alive. So I drop fire spirits here and at this point I have two princesses on the map and he's at 10 elixir and we are only at 3 elixir so let's see how it ends.
So he locks my princess. And I know he has a tombstone, and there it is. So I will drop Hawk Rider, Fireball, and have my lock ready. But my Hawk Rider doesn't make it to the tower. So here I will lock, hit all the skeletons and the Hawk Rider as well. And I will drop my Inferno here because he he would expect me to put it there. And also his Mega Mean was here. So if I would have put it uh, over here in the middle. His Mega Man would have killed it right away, and then his Hawk Rider would finish uh, off the tower. So, here, he fireballs that. I'll drop Ice Spirit and Mega Man, and his Hawk gets another hit, so that puts my tower down to 299 HP. He locks, and I lock as well. My tower is down to 161, but I can fireball to take the W. And <laughs> here I put the angry face because I was struggling all day long and I was really happy that I won that. So last match, this match actually got me to 5000 trophies. So this is really nice. So I was actually really mad because as you guys can see again a level 13 and I'm just getting sick of facing those. So I put a crying face and I will drop again a Mega Man here in the left to cycle and see what he drops. So he gives a good luck and I know... Uh, he just plays his princess and that is level 5. So my lock won't kill it. But I will drop princess. And my princess hits his tower as well and kills the princess. And then he fireballs which was a really good fireball. So I know my spirits won't make it to uh, the tower. And he actually drops down a golem. And that opens the door for me because I can push now. And both my spirits, uh, both the three of the fire spirits made it. And the ice spirit uh, half killed the tombstone. Uh, the Skarmy, sorry. So here he comes with a miner and two skeletons survive. And watch this, guys. So my tower was at full life, which is 3052. And those two skeletons, uh, those, yeah, two skeletons and the miner at uh, max level are just insane, as you guys can see here. My tower goes down to 2209, which is absolutely insane because I mean, I, I do have high levels for a brand new level uh, 11, but I, I'm still. Having a disadvantage in almost every game. So I drop my princess at the bridge to chip away. And also kill his princess. So at this point. It is getting a bit dark by the way. I hope you guys don't mind that. I will wrap up the video soon. So this was really interesting. He, he could have killed my princess with a witch or a fireball. But I saw that he wasn't reacting to my princess. So I decided to go on the other side to force him to defend that with a witch. And he dropped his goblin barrel on my princess to kill it. So I dropped my Mega Man because level 13 goblins, the DPS is just insane. And here I will drop my fire spirits, as you guys can see soon. I will drop my fire spirits here to, to try to defend it. But he has a level 8 witch, which is totally maxed. And that actually two shots my fire spirits. And he forced me to use my lock, otherwise I would have taken a lot of damage. So here I will drop my ice spirit and princess. But that actually still doesn't kill it, but luckily for me, my princess gets another shot off. So I will drop a Hawk Rider to rush him, and he drops a Scar me, and he fireballs my princess. I'm not sure why, because my princess was already going dead by his Scar me. So he drops his Miner, I will drop Fire Spirits and Ice Spirit to defend that. And at this point, I know if I can uh, defend it, I have this game. So actually, look... I lock my, uh, his princess, but my lock is level 3 and doesn't kill a level 5 princess. So here it comes with a goblin barrel, but I have my fireball ready for that. So, boom, I will fireball that. And at this point, I will drop my inferno here to put it defensively if he comes with a miner. So he has a witch there. I will drop my princess, I think. Yeah, I will drop my princess and then drop ice spirit again. As you guys can see, this is actually really important. So here, he drops his miner, he keeps putting his miner in the same spot. So as you guys can see, I drop my ice spirit there. And then wait until uh, it almost gets unfrozen and then drop my fire spirit. So that is just a tip. If you guys see uh, your opponent placing the miner at the same spot every time, you can try to predict it and then uh, negate any damage. So I will drop my lock to kill the Skarmy and hit the witch. And I will drop Mega Man. So again, he comes with a goblin barrel. I will fireball that and ice spirit his princess. Uh, then drop fire spirit and that is good game. So at this point I knew I had reached uh, 5000 uh, cups. So I was really happy with that. And let's see where we are local. 
I'm from the Netherlands by the way if you guys didn't know that already so locally we are currently number four and I'm really happy with that so if you guys enjoyed this episode of me showing those replays and getting 5,000 uh, cups and also uh, showing you guys my setup earlier before this video please let me know in the comments leave a like and don't forget to subscribe see ya